Hello everyone, welcome to another Alpha Console update. As you can see by what's on the screen, there is something new called alphaconsole.io. And no, it's not a mini game like Scriblio or any of the others. Um, this is a website for all your decals. Basically, it's Alpha Console's version of VGM. You upload your decals, you upload your, um, your 3D models, and people can download them and use them in the game. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. So before we get started, if we take a quick look at the patch notes, obviously we have alphaconsole.io. This update is all about the brand new one-stop site to find custom textures and mods for Alpha Console. This is an alternative to VGM, video game mods, with direct integrations with Alpha Console. Now, when AC is open, additional install button will appear. We'll cover this uh, in a little bit. You will also see a new option in the sidebar for featured items. So what we'll do for this video, we'll start in-game with this new icon here and then we'll move to the actual website I'll show you how it works and then I'll show you the integration so if you click on featured items we have two tabs top rated most downloaded this reflects the website um, and then basically all it does is show you decals textures uh, I think it shows models as well oh you've got forge modes um, wheels, um, I think it does models. Anyway, yeah, it does, it does models. So, a quick overview on this. Obviously, this part here tells you what it is. If it's a decal, here's a ball. Uh, I think there were some wheels as well. These icons here, the likes and downloads, don't do anything in this menu. All this is, is a reflection of the website. To get to the website, you have two options. You have on each tab or each instance of a texture, whatever, you have this eye, view on alpha console, or you have the main website here. So this eye will take you to this specific item and this will take you to the actual website. And most downloaded is obviously as it says most downloaded um, so it will list different items this way so what we're going to do i'm going to click visit alphaconsole.io this main website and i'm going to exit rocket league and show you the website so here is alphaconsole.io welcome to alpha console um, all the users and then install instructions if you don't have Alpha Console. Here you're instantly greeted with the top rated items and most downloaded items. Again, as you saw uh, in game in the plugin, and you can just simply scroll across. This is where you can like and download. But what we'll do for now is have a quick browse up the top, get you logged in. And then we can go about looking at the textures. So obviously we're on home now. If we go to browse, you can type in, you can search for what you want. You can search by group, textures, forge or models. Uh, you can do, you can have show only approved items. I'll come onto this in a minute. This will make more sense later. If I click it now, nothing will appear, or at least nothing should. And then if you click this arrow here, you have a drop down of all your items. So we have antennas, we have borders, nothing there, banners, we should have two, yep. And uh, what have we got? We've got decals. For forge presets, uh, I think I'm the only one who's uploaded something which is under challenge, so you can have that. This is from the tutorial that I done when Forge got released. So this is what I used in that video. And 3D models or models, these are custom cars and custom charms. 
I don't think a ball has been uploaded, which it hasn't. So as you scroll through and you find something you like, you can either like it, you don't have to, but you can. And you also have the download button. The download works the same way as VGM. You will get a zipped file in your downloads folder and then you extract it and move it into Alpha Console. However, that is, uh, that is the long way. <laughs> this, has been, this process has been streamlined and we will get onto that in a second. Moving on, about, we have the Alpha Console, uh, what is Alpha Console, uh, which explains pretty much what it is. Uh, it goes through all the features, all the Patreon exclusives, and basically how to use it. If you come onto the team, obviously you have GLH and Gunner, the two, two big boys, and then some random person at the end. News, obviously this is, these are the updates that have happened. Download and install instructions. Again, Backers Mod's plugin if you don't have Backers Mod, this is where to go. And then installing Alpha Console, you can either use this or this op option, plus a, a more drawn out option here. So if you don't have Alpha Console and want to use it, if you're on PC, get Backers Mod, get Alpha Console, you're done. Donate, obviously you have uh, your Patreon option, which gives you access to in-game items and, or sorry, in-game features, Patreon features, and also uh, PayPal. And you guys won't have this thing at the end. So when you first come onto the website, you will be shown a login button here. This logs you in with Discord. So log in, connect your Discord, and you will be greeted with something similar to this. This is your profile, your textures. So any texture that you upload will be listed here. Any forge presets you upload will be here. Models, this includes cars and charms. So I've got my charm here with a few cars here. Collections, these are collections you created. I will come onto these in a second. And favorites is anything you've liked. So uploading. If we go to upload texture, you enter a name. So I'll call this test. Label type, this is what your texture is. So antenna, decal, topper, whatever. Um, I will just do for now, let's just do decal. A brief description, again, whatever you want. Collections. If you, I'll, I'll go over and show you collections in a minute, but if you want to have a collection for this item, this is where you would select it from. Obviously, actually, you know what, let's, let's leave it with Alpha Console. Display image. Uh, your display image should be 512. PNG or JPEG, I would rather, I'd go with JPEG. And it is one meg in size. So again, 512 JPEG you'll be fine for this. So for this, let's go to this. Zip file, these are your textures. Um, so you put everything in here as you would normally do. So your JSON files, all your, your textures. The file limit, actually I can show you. Um, so the file limit, the file limit for textures and 3D objects, cars and charms, is 10 megabit. Anything over that, it will say here, you are over 10 meg. Um, so as an example, let's do comic. We got green and green, so we're good. Private item, I, by default, this will be public. Um, if you want it to be private, simply hit that and you'll be good but for this example whoops for this example we'll leave it as public and click submit this will go into upload there we go it's a bit slow of course it's a bit slow on the uh, on the recording 
and it's uploaded. So here's the test. And as you can see, there's a difference between this symbol and this symbol. So if you hover over, pending initial review, item will be made public once the review is complete. This is basically like a, an automatic review. It should take no longer than a minute. Once it's done, it will become public and it will turn into this yellow icon here. The yellow icon stands for pending approval, use at your own risk, meaning no one has manually gone in and checked the files. So it will be made public, but anything with this means it hasn't been manually reviewed. So if we give it a refresh, there we go. That's done. That's now public. So obviously this won't be here when you go to download it. Um, but if you are here on the website while I'm recording this, you will now see this. So what we can do, obviously we can click it, see the author, the, the date and time it was updated and edited, or sorry, uploaded and edited, updated, <coughs> plus whatever collection it belongs to. Now, coming on to collections. Collections are basically a way of grouping your items together. So as you can see here, I have a UCF banner and UCF gold shield. They are separate, but they are under the same collection. If I click this collection, this will change, give it a second. It shows everything under my UCF collection. So we have the banner, the shield, gold shields, antennas, the avatar and two uh, two decals. So this is what collections are. You can have everything individually and then link them with that collection and this is how it will appear. So if we go back to test, I link this with Alpha Console. So here are Alpha Console wheels. We've got Reapers, Jokos, Satarishis and then obviously this upload this test upload is linked in as well now as you can see there is this install all bot option which is grayed out and you can't click we'll come onto this in a second and if you click on a texture or item you obviously have to have the download which will be uh, again which will download the zip file which you will need to move if you do want to edit an item you can go into your uh, your profile, click the pen. Actually, let's go. Let's go to test. So I want to remove this from the Alpha Console uh, group or collection. I can do that. Preview is none. Click submit, and that has gone. This will always be here because this tells you what it is. So we have wheels, decal. Uh, avatar so this first option will always be here because it simply tells you what it is this second one is your collection and here I have one which is a multiple collection this happens automatically if you assign it more than one so obviously this belongs to my UCF collection but also one called decal set if I click on decal set again let this load basically anything with more than one car or one version. Again, if you're not happy with something like this test, I'm not happy with, so I will delete, and delete it, and it's gone. So we've talked about how to download. Again, if you click this button, it will download a zip folder. You then have to extract the folder and move it into the correct Alpha Console location whether it's a decal or a banner. Um, but there is, as I said, there is a smoother way. <clears throat> so, so if I come over to browse and there's something specific I want to look for, I want to look for a banner. Now I have my UCF one installed. If you've seen my videos, you will know that I use this one pretty much religiously. I have made this one but I don't have it installed in my Alpha console. So if we come to banners, 
Obviously, there is no G2. So again, as you can see, we have the download icon, but what we're going to do is launch Rocket League while keeping this page open. So with Rocket League open, I press F5 and I come over to profile and banners as a last check, you can see there is no G2. So what I'm going to do is come over to the website, give this a quick refresh and as you can see already, there is a new option of install with Alpha Console or download with Alpha Console. So I'm going to come back to whoops banners and I want this G2 Esports. Now I have the game open still. Uh, so what I'm going to do, whoops, what I'm going to do, thank you Windows, is install with Alpha Console. It's been added to your queue. And then if we give it some time, what will happen is banners G2. And there we have our G2 banner. So it downloads directly uh, to Alpha Console. It puts everything, if I do a refresh, it puts everything in to the correct folder so if it was a decal it would obviously be under uh, decal textures if it was a wheel it'd be under wheels blah 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 and the most important thing or the the nicest thing is that you don't have to either reload the plugin reload rocket league or do a command to force it to reload so this method works with textures only as you can see with Forge and 3D cars, um, not only cars but charms as well, you don't have that option. The charms and cars are a bit different because there's obviously two different places it needs to be installed to. If you've seen my cars and charms videos, you will know. But pretty much anything else you can do at the click of a button. So coming back to your profile and my collections, to create a collection, simply cl click create, and then you can enter whatever you want and also choose a color. Once you have this, you can then assign it to whatever, uh, whatever you like, whatever item you want. You can either edit an existing one, so I can add it as that so that now becomes multiple or when you go to upload you can simply click collections and then select it from there and if you no longer need or want that uh, that collection you can simply click the X and delete thank you for watching this video and as this says there is 1.5 million of you using Alpha Console. So on behalf of the dev as well, thank you for uh, for using Alpha Console. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this website. Thank you for watching and I shall see you later. Peace out.